Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Honestly, every single time I come back to this game, I just feel like I'm gonna get better, and I tell myself that. And then at the end of like each episode, I'm just like, I think I just got worse. <laughs> I don't know. I keep trying, honestly, and it's just, I don't know. It's just sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. Most of the times I'm not. Anyways, let's get into it. All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials. <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? Yeah, you bunch of slackers. Alright, once again everyone's here. Am I getting dogged again? Oh, you're not dogging me this time. How sweet. Settle, folks. Commander's waiting. Me too. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard? I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer, and hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. If Linden's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. Yeah, I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Probably the best advice I've heard since I've started playing. <laughs> and Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. 
I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Oh, yeah? More secrets? Fine. I'll need you. Wow, right, what's up, Fris? What you got for me? So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? So, like, we're I'm kind ones. of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. I still wonder why they couldn't like add a voice so the protagonist interacts more with like these people, you know, or these guys, I guess. Um, it's a bummer, but oh well. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The Magnite Crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing Magnite Crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Nice. Nice, nice. You got your choice of fighters for this mission. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. It's not even a question. Of course I'm gonna take the X-Wing. Um, alright. So I don't want a... F oh, what's this? Hold the button to fire proper close range blast from the release. No, I don't want a close range. Um, burst with a short delay. Maybe you have good aim. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to do this one, but this is way too close. What's the range? Yeah, I'm definitely doing That'll this one. That'll be fun. Of course it is. I feel like they keep adding more of these, but I'm not sure if I should change them. To turn and change speed faster. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just going to leave it standard. I'm just going to get my, my thrust. Mm. 
this one. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, I'm with my F game. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Wait, look. A Star Destroyer. Or what's left of one. I'd say it's been here a long while. You'd think this would discourage Teresa Carroll. <sighs> to someone like her, that wreckage ain't a warning. It's one more insult. So we're gonna go through the storm too? Jesus. Look lively, Vanguard. Imperial ships are on radar. Scouts. Perfect. The boss's plan is working. One's zap of those and we're dead. Make sure they buy it. That's a hit. I don't know why it stopped there, <laughs> but hey, oh wait, what's going on? Oh shoot. You guys need to do chase. You need another target. Hunting. Ah. Let's get some fire on that. Come on. These are too good. Hit it. Enemies locked on. Get this other one. Where you at? Oh shoot! My bad, my bad. Ah. Oh. Oh wait, 
get this. The ones that are closer, we should get those. Come on. Enemy nice. is destroyed. Where's this guy at? Ah. Uh. Nice. Get the time bombers. Oh, where are they? I'm trying. I don't know where they're at. What do I'm gonna do? Be able to like maneuver like flawless, flawlessly. Ah, shoot. Where are the other shit? Of course, Jesus. Signals breaking up. Let's push on. The ambush point is this way. Ready? Let's go. Ready. How do I have such horrible aiming? <laughs> Not even moving anymore. I got the cold sweat on my neck. Stay focused. I am. I'm very focused on the Star Destroyer right behind me. Trapped. With nowhere to go. Launch fighters! More Imperial fighters! Check behind! What they did. That's crazy. Yep, they fired a missile at me. Close. Nice. Not close enough. Oh my god. How do I get these bombers? Behind me, I'm 
Is that ours? Oh shoot. No 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 no. I've been shooting our own. Keep going. You're almost in range. Come on. Okay. If we can make it to the bottleneck in time, we will. We just have to push forward. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? Missiles tracking you. Vanguard, the overseer is targeting you. I need more time. Distract Teresa while we charge the tractor beam. And stay alive. Taking out her fighters one by one should be very distracting. Captain Carroll to Vanguard Squadron. This is a futile gesture. You have nowhere to go, and I have no interest in prisoners. I have no shield! Enemies locked on! Ah, come on. I'm just have to speed it. Deflect the shield down. Ah, oh, shoot. I got you. Nice, thanks, Benny. They're locking on. What's wrong, Teresa? Can't hit something that ain't a helpless convoy. Tractor beams at sixty-one percent. You heard the droid. Got one on my tail. Come on, where are you at? I'm like so lost in here. Let's go. You can make it. You brought this on yourself, Teresa. Now. I was like, please tell me I made it. Ha, the scan worked, Titan. That convoy's Nava computer had the sector and system we've been looking for. <laughs> we've got them right where we want them. works it tossed the overseer around like a loath rat good lousy imperials deserve payback with interest <laughs> shall we just build a death star and get it over with oh wow oh, come on grace we're still the good guys anyhow we won right wherever they jumped no ships coming back from that well, let's hope so
that was tense. Even with the next wing, I was lost in like most of the storm. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next episode.